everyone, welcome back to the channel and to today's video. You join me today from Hua Hin. Now I'm going to take you guys for a bit of an explore, a bit of a look around this town. But first I wanted to show you the hotel because it's pretty awesome and it only costs 900 baht. Booked it on a gold this morning. Got yourself a large bed. Um, have a look at the bathroom as well, of course you need one of those. Here we go. But the highlight of this room, no, well not the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi is two hours to upload the video that I'm trying to upload uh, for today. But the highlight is this, check this out. You've got a jacuzzi on the balcony. How awesome is that? And yeah, you've got a couple of pools and like all kinds of stuff. What an awesome place. Can't believe it was only 900 baht. And as you guys know, I'm headed down to Krabi. Got to be there on the 1st of November. And today's the 29th. So this is my second stop off on the way down from Chiang Mai on the bike. Yeah, so we're on the corridor now. But yeah, let's go and have a look at the pool first and then yeah, look around the place. But only thing it's not as convenient as um, as I was like, but I saw the facilities for that price and thought, yeah, I'm gonna book it anyway. It is four kilometers to downtown. Don't know if I've already said that, I might have done. But yeah, it's the great place and it includes breakfast as well. I think it was a special deal or it could have been because I had a lot of uh, uh, points or something. So maybe I got it for the price based on that. So something to bear in mind. This is the lobby area, got some stuff set up for Halloween here. And yeah, let's have a, have a brief look at the pool. Not bad, is it, really? Yeah, some of these have got all these jacuzzi rooms. I think that's my room up there. Could even jump off here. Yeah, pretty decent place. And let's have a look where it's located on the main uh, Huahin Road. I've been to Huahin before about twice, I think. Uh, last time was a number of years ago. People, so friendly here. Well, I suppose they are everywhere, aren't they? But, uh, yeah. A few times been to Huahin, and it's a place that, yeah, I do, I do quite do quite like it in all honesty. But is it, would it be somewhere that I wanted to live? And the reason I wanted to stop off in Huahin is just to see, could this be somewhere that I wanted to live in the future? I know lots of people move here, lots of people retire here and choose it as their, as their destination or their retirement destination. And I can see why. But I want to see what kind of vibes I get out of this place. Now, this is the, this is where we're located. As I said, we're not in walking distance. So it's a throw off. You want a hotel like that for a good price? Or do you want to be a bit further down? Now, in hindsight, I wish I was a bit further away. Gosh, we've got a bit of a walk on, but not to worry, we've got all day. It's only about 12.30 at the moment, or one o'clock. So yeah, we've got plenty of time to enjoy the day. Then we're gonna be heading down, uh, further down south tomorrow. Not decided where I'm gonna go yet. Maybe Chumpon, maybe Thoratani, but yeah, it's gonna be another long stint. Like yesterday's ride was eight hours. Today's was only about three and a bit. Um, and then, yeah, it's gonna be, I don't know, maybe another eight hours tomorrow, and then about a six hours on the day after. So, yeah, anyway, let's get a bit further down into the city. To perhaps save some time by driving over the curb, how awesome is it? How am I gonna sit on here? I'm sweating up. It's got a bucket on the back. <laughs> we should be good, we should be good. Wow, it moves forward and backwards, look at that. It was here, and now it's here. Grab and grab. Okay. Bye, cha-cha, okay. Go slow. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, he saved, you know, meant to drive that, but what a legend. He saved like three minutes doing a massive U-turn about two kilometers away. So, love it when they uh, save time. <laughs> well, I thought this was a good place to stop, start the walk, start the exploration of the Hin. Don't know this place very well, in honest, I said I've only been twice. Um, First time was for a few days, second time was for a few days as well, so yeah. It's not somewhere that I know much about. Some of you guys watching will probably know this place far better than me, but it's got a certain vibe to it, what I felt last time I came. Now I'm not sure if it's uh, accurate or are you guys going to agree, but it sort of feels a little bit like Chiang Mai. Not, not massively, but a little bit. Uh, that's the vibes that I got from it ages ago. It feels sort of a bit like Chiang Mai by the beach, Chiang Mai by the sea. 
So yeah, I don't know if you get the same vibes as I do. But yeah, one of the reasons, how I've already said this earlier on, but one of the reasons I did want to stop in Hua Hin, um, just to see, would this be a potential place to live at some point in the future? I always like looking and yeah, I struggle to find anywhere that beats Chiang Mai. So, <laughs> there are places that are equally as beautiful, equally as nice, especially up north. You know me, I do prefer up north to, uh, to, to down south, but yeah, this could be a potential thing. It definitely feels more touristy in a place like this than Chiang Mai. Now, of course, Chiang Mai is an extremely tourist city, it is. But it, does, it feels different in a way. Look at this beautiful building here. That's gorgeous. Love stuff like this. Now we're on Neb Kadat Road. So I'm not sure which way I'm going. Probably gonna hook a right, I think. Sounds about right. And you've got that little mountain in the distance over there. How, how good. Very popular place, you can tell that it's more. I don't know, how do you guys feel when you're going to, let's say you're in, um, an expat living somewhere. You want to be in the thick of it, you want to be in a place that you can enjoy and sort of get stuck in. But when it's too touristy, it feels like you're going to be lumped in with the tourists as opposed to the expats. Whereas in Chiang Mai, I feel like you're not. Not that it matters, but something to consider. Not sure what property prices are like around uh, around Hua Hin. Never actually looked. Would be interested to know. Like for an equivalent um, house to ours, for example, how much would that cost in an equivalent distance away from uh, from the city? Oh, HTMS Hua Hin. It's a nice little shop. Look at that. Nice little building over there. Mm -hmm. Ready mm -hmm. Lots of massage places right here. Yeah. Seem to get them everywhere, don't you? But yeah, I don't know what area we're in. I booked a grab and I sort of picked the middle of the okay. and That seemed to be where that was. So, got a little place over there for sale. That building, is that for sale? Kaiban Ni. Kaiban, this one. How much is that? Any of you guys know? <laughs> I don't fancy ringing them up. Let's go find it online and have a look. That's for sale as well. Look at that, that's an awesome doorway there. I can, I can see, I can see the uh, appeal of this place, definitely, definitely can. <laughs> you definitely see the appeal. It feels, it feels like a tourist destination. If that makes sense. Where I keep comparing it to Chiang Mai. This is, is I love in Chiang Mai. Love living in Chiang Mai, etc. But Chiang Mai doesn't feel like a tourist destination. It feels like a destination that people go to to tour. Here feels like it's set up for tourism. Does that make sense? That's the vibes I'm getting so far. Uh, that's, um, that's the vibes I got in a place like Pattaya as well. Of course, there's a lot more to it, don't get me wrong. It's a very broad, generalised opinion. But, yeah, all in, it does feel like this place is set up for tourism. Tour and travel, though. But now, I keep checking because I've got my uh, uh, video uploading in the hotel on the incredibly bad Wi-Fi. Two hours, 56. Come on, you can do better than that hotel. Oh, we can see the sea. Yes. That's for sale as well there. Oh, that's for rent. Down this one street alone, we've seen so many buildings for sale. I'd love one of them. Just one, not, not ten, just one, but even that's too expensive. <laughs> Old school house here. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah like, I'm liking it. I am, I'm liking working. Ah, I've been here before. 
Are these the ones, now I could be wrong, and probably am, are these the ones that shouldn't actually be here? They shouldn't be here, they should be knocked down, they, should, they were built not correctly. I'm thinking that's these here, isn't it? Yeah. Which way are we going? Let's have a look over here. Take you guys for a look at the sea and then yeah, let's go for more exploring. I love doing stuff like this, going to somewhere that you've not been many times, getting stuck in. And yeah, you got the sea. And yeah, I'm sure I've eaten there, but it could, it could have been somewhere else. Yeah, check this out. It's not very clean, that water, is it? It's a bit murky. <laughs> but yeah, that's... Uh, these are what I was talking about before. I'm sure these are not meant to be here. I'm reading about it in the news every couple of years. But yeah, I've got a bit of a Chinese style yeah, temple going on here. Let's have a walk around. Yeah, it feels as hot as Chiang Mai does it in April. And I'm not used to it. It's extremely hot. But yeah, check this place out here. I love the reds and uh, intricate dragon features around here, it's pretty awesome. Now let's go for a wander. But yeah, the sea, you want it to be blue, don't you? Well, not that I'm going swimming anyway, but there you go. Yeah, you can go for a... Uh, what's it called? Sunbathe or umbrella underneath, sit down if you want to. But let's, uh, yeah, let's get on the beach. Yeah. Yeah, here we are on the beach. Must admit, I'm not like a beach person like, like some people are. I like. Corsomet style beaches, like where it's small and intricate and on an island setting. But either way, it's still pretty beautiful, isn't it? It's really nice. But the sea is. Why, why, why is it that colour? <laughs> why, why is it brown? Maybe it's meant to be. It looks like it's. I don't know. Is this coming up on camera? That guy doesn't care. It's like. Why is it that colour? I don't know. Not to worry. It'll be a decent place to stay there. Can we walk through? I need to look on the map here, guys, to uh, get back up. Can we? Where are we? Oh, that's the Hilton. Oh, we can walk. I don't even know. Right, let's, uh, let's attempt to sort of get through here, but I don't know if we can. It will be a decent place to sit. But yeah, I think, I think you can sort of tell what I'm saying, can't you, when it comes to... Uh, it's got the beach, it's beautiful, but it doesn't necessarily feel like an actual beach destination, like some... Sadi Kaap? Sadi Kaap? Where you go? Uh, by, uh, I ask how much for room? Hong mm -hmm. Harai. By go asking... Lovely, yeah? Lovely, yeah. Lovely, yeah. Lovely, yeah. Yeah, let's go and see how much a room is in this place. It will say, you know, walking in a different direction. Would we'll be interested. <laughs> yeah, this is your pool area. You've got your bar over there. A decent pool here. Yeah, you'd come here, you'd want to stay, you know, by the pool, not swim in the sea over there. Pretty nice. Yeah, not bad. It's probably going to be... What's your, what's your guess, guys, for this room? My guess. 4,000? 4, 4,000, that's my guess. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> but yeah, it's still... Nice pool, nice view. I don't know if you guys know why is this colour of the sea like that. I would like to know. Let me know. Yeah, so this is like your little lobby area here. Awesome view. Mm -hmm. 
วัสดีครับอืมก็ต้องทุบเบิร์นสวัสดีครับเขาจะส่ง how much room for one night for standard room สิบเตาสองไฟฮัมเลต์แต่พบกันค่ะ is it include breakfast yes okay thank you so much just wanted to check thank you it took like 10 minutes for them to get the price not gonna lie, I only wanted the price so I could walk through the hotel. <laughs> but yeah, let's go have a look. 6,500. I mean, it looks nice, but it doesn't look like 6,500 nice. My opinion, of course. Where I'm staying is, it cost me 900. You saw, you saw the room. Pool. Okay, it isn't next to the sea, but I mean, I don't know, if you like the sea, like this, that's great. But to me, it should be blue. And it looks like, anyway, not to worry. <laughs> Flip the camera for you guys. Bit of an issue, we're down till. Hang on, what, what are we on to? Oh, sorry. We're on to 31% battery. Let it have. But yeah, this is more. More poor hint. Let's look where we are on the map. Let's have a look. Where are we? Oh no, it's got the wrong street, it's got the street view. No. Okay, I think I know which way to go gone down this way. Well, that way we've got to the beach of course. A bit windy, sorry about that, I mean, but it's a bit uh, a bit windy. Ah, it was you know the Hilton that place. I'm sure. I'm sure I've seen uh, was it was it Jeff Carter who went on the buffet? Or was that a different city? I don't know. He used to watch that guy all the time but he doesn't come to Thailand very much anymore. It was like to me it was like the original the original guy Jeff Carter. One of the originals, not the of course, but one of the original guys. You get any of you watch him? I flip the camera. But yeah, I'm really, really liking the vibes of this place. Uh, is, that the, is that the infamous night place down there? Soy Bintabad. Yeah, so we're gonna walk, have a walk down him. It's a guy that I watch who uh, is based in Hua Hin. Seen a few videos down here, so it would be interesting to see. I think this is sort of the night, nighttime place uh, for nighttime activities. Because everywhere does seem to be closed. Probably ready for uh, later on. Yeah, some places are open, as you can see, but yeah, it's only on. Two, two in a bit. I'm gonna check the state of this video that I've got attempting to upload. Now it says uploading and there's no time. Oh, damn. 1.30. Hello. Hello. Yeah, 1.30. I better get back to the hotel soon. I need to upload this video. I have to use the hotspot and that'll take an hour and a half. Which is not good because I want to be out and about in the short time that I get in Hua Hin. A decent place though. I'm liking it. Never been to this part of Wuhan before, I'm sure. Don't think. But yeah, I could do with a beer. Extremely hot. When you see a sale rent sign like that for this place, do you think they mean the actual property or do you think they just mean the business? I used to, a long time ago, you're looking on the internet and you see, oh, a place for bar for sale. Not that I would ever want to buy a bar. And, and they want like three million back for it, but it doesn't even include the property. It's like, why would I not just make my own? Some people do buy them though, so each to their own, I guess. There's another hotel here. Look at that temple there. Look awesome. Lots and lots of like, you know, Western food available around here. Even more so than Chiang Mai, I would say. Definitely. Eat. Anyway guys, to sum up Hua Hin, what are my overall opinions? I think this place is actually awesome. I could see myself living here. It does feel for me a little bit too touristy. Uh, if you want your expat vibes and you want to be sort of in the center, you are in a very touristy location. But some people like that, some people don't. I'm sort of somewhere in the middle. But uh, yeah, I would definitely see myself living here at some point. But I do like Chiang Mai too much. 
Anyway, catch you guys later. Really appreciate you watching, and yeah, see you in uh, the next video, which is going to be from somewhere a bit further down south. Yeah, see you soon. Cheers, guys.